All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just wanted to, the reason I've done that. My iPhone was a little weird because I had to film this. I filmed this once before, and uh, it timed off. Really weird. It only filmed me for like 30 minutes, and then it just deleted it. I was like, what? So I'm doing this in two parts because I really want to make sure that this is done properly. Um, but in terms of, and I'll just put it all together. But like I say. So the Sunday, Moxley and Nyla Rose were doing the meet and greet first of all, and Moxley was charging fifty dollars to meet him, and Nyla was like thirty. Um, she was pretty really cool, and I actually met Nyla Rose in the end. But Moxley got capped, and uh, it was only for the first fifty people. So um, that was a thing where I was like, eh, whatever, it's one of them. I wasn't too fussed because I've met him before. Like I met Dean Ambrose when he was at WrestleMania thirty. So. I've met him. He's a nice guy, but I wasn't too fussed about like, oh, you know, can't meet him. No big deal. No, no I'm not. I'm not going to disappoint us. I'm not going to be disappointed. So um, yeah, they were everybody that was there. Like you could get a poster if you'd not got anything to sign, and they just signed this. So I got this really cool like this is the uh, the AEW Revolution poster um, signed by a number of talents. Uh, Wardlow is on there. He's really cool, Wardlow. He was with MJF, and he wasn't even promoted to be there, and he just signed it with MJF. I got Darby Allen, I got Kip Sabian, I got Penelope Ford, Nyla Rose, um, Nick and Matt Jackson are on there. Man, it's a coming on nice, really good poster. Got it, like I say, and um, you know, all like I say, all the talents that were there over that meet and greet were really, really affordable. Like I, I would say that they were. All very, very um, good price. Like, there was nobody that you'd think, man, I'm, blowing, I'm really breaking the bank to meet these people. I mean, it's like, I think, I think for everybody I met, it was about just $170. And that was for everybody. And that was like, that's really good. Like, I've paid a lot more when I've done, like, access. But, um, yeah, I remember being in the queue and... I think uh, Ravi and Breachy and those guys were like, oh, you know, I'm going to get out of this queue. Not too bothered about me. No, that's, that's fine, whatever. Um, we're going to go meet CM Punk. And I was like, hey, Breach goes, hey, do you want to meet CM Punk? And I was like, dude, I met him yesterday. He was like, oh, fair, man, no worries. So he went off with Ravi and Justin and those guys, and they all went and met Punk. Really cool. Really cool. Go, go meet him. Fair enough. I don't blame you. Um, and then I remember catching up with those guys because they went to meet the books. Now, the books were doing a sign-in for this book company because their new book's coming out. And then the book company was saying, you know, if you pre-order the book, you can meet the books for free. So I was like, sweet. So I explained that, like, to pre-order the book, the book would get sent by this company. It's like a Barnes & Noble sort of thing. And um, I explained that I live in England and, you know, do you ship to England? And they were like, oh, the book guy goes, oh, no, we, we don't ship to England. It's only to the United States. So I was like, damn. So um, I was like, well, I've flown a long way. I would love to meet the book still. And they were like, hey, man, just just ask them. Like, I'm sure they'll be fine about it. And I, you know, because you just want to make sure you're doing things right. So, and, they, you know, they, they didn't really have that big of a queue. I mean, they, they were, well, when I was there, they, I mean, I guess their queue got bigger and bigger. But, um, yeah, Matt Jackson was setting up with his wife and Nick was there. And um, I just was really quick. I said, hey, um, am I okay to still meet you guys? I said, I, 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 ha I can't pre-order the book because they're not shipping it to the UK. And they were like, man, jump in the queue, man. We'll see you in a minute. And I was like... <laughs> all right thank you and that's what and it was super nice like and I, I even said to them I was like guys I'm buying the book on Amazon like as soon as it's released don't even worry like man that's awesome man it's good to see you again because I've met them before and they were just super nice and I just said you know it's just like refreshing that you guys are doing this and bringing AEW here and doing everything and they were they were, they were really cool guys and um yeah very grateful for them uh doing that and then you know I'll, I'll always remember that it was a really nice thing that they did for me that day so um really cool of the books boom um then i went back and i said to ravi and breachy and those lot i said hey guys i'm gonna um go back i want to go and see if uh i think it was darby allen i want to say it was darby allen was it darby no sorry it was uh joey janela and mjf that's right MJF and Joey Janela were doing their their signing and um, queued up, and I met both of them. Uh, MJF was exactly what he was going to be, complete, just playing his character, heel, proper heel. Um, I went up to him. I knew I was going to get the 
like the in you know and i went up I was like hey what's up man I, I knew it was coming so I, I was just doing it really just to see him do it and he he just like looked at me he was like i was like yeah and then um he started signing he, he signed he went where do you want it was like there and he like he just did his little signature really quick and ward loaded it as well and then i and then i said to mjf i said uh hey i i like really enjoyed the uh, kenny johnson documentary about your career on youtube and for like half a second he went oh you watch that <laughs> and i went yeah and he looked at me and he went really quiet and he was like you could like a mouse he went like that and then he just went back to character but it was so cool that he broke character for like a second and he went Thank you. Like that. And then he just went back into character. But um, that was pretty cool. Like to get that out of him was really cool. Because obviously he plays this like heel on TV and in gimmick. And he's always in gimmick. Like this is how this guy works. He's in, he's in gimmick all the time. So just to get that out of him was, was really awesome. And then um, I said to Wardlow, I was like, man, I, I'm hyped for when you debut. And he was, well, I'm hyped for when you, we see more of you. And he was like, yeah, yeah thanks, man. And he just like fist bumped me and... <laughs> That was that was cool, and then uh, I remember going over to Joey Janela, and I was the same sort of thing because I know he'd had a documentary that Kenny Johnson had done. Again, it's on YouTube; you can you can find it. And uh, I was like, "Hey, you know, same sort of thing." And he didn't really say a lot; he was a bit like reserved. He was like, "Hey, thank you, thank you, man. Very cool. Like, whatever. Piss off." <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He he was just one of them. He didn't really say a great deal. Um, not that he was being a bad guy; he's probably one of them sort of days. But um. And then we waited again, and uh, who else came out? Uh, I saw, I did see the fan take the uh, the Young Bucks jacket over to um, MJF, and he says, give me your glasses, and he signs eat shit on his glasses. It was the most hilarious thing. So that was funny as fuck. Um, and then, um, yeah. So let me see if I can show you the poster again. As I say, there's a few, you might be able to see the signatures. There you go. You guys get a better view of them. So there's MG. That's uh, M. That's MJF and Darby and Wardlow and man, really cool poster. Just super nice. And hopefully I'll get Jericho and Mox on it one day. Like I've met Jericho and Moxley before, but again, be nice to get them on this. Um. So yeah, and then um, who else was there? And that's right. And then Darby Allen came out with uh, Kip and um, Penelope Ford. And they were really nice. I mean, um, Darby was awesome. I don't know what's Darby. I mean, he's actually younger than me. He's like 23. And you wouldn't think he's 23. Like, the guy is so cool. And he's such he's so ahead of the game. Like, where where Darby Allen's going to go is very, very, like, it's interesting where this guy will go in the next few years. But um, I, I even said to him, I was like, man, you remind me so much of, like, a young Sting. And he was like, oh, thanks. And, and, and I, I, he's like, man, well... I'm going to be the first Derby. And I was like, hey, man, that's cool. And I said, hey, did you ever, like, watch much of Sting when you were a kid? And he was like, no, I've never watched Sting. I never really watched Sting at all. I was like, wow, okay. But, I mean, even Cody Rhodes has said, like, he's got that Sting enigma about him. And he really has. Like, he, the way Darby Allen is in the ring and how he comes out, and it's very, very unique. It's very, it's very much this real, like, an, an enigma about him. And I think it's really, really cool. Um... And, you know, Penelope Ford and uh, Kip Sabian were really nice as well. The super, team's super bad. And, um, obviously, Kip used to... Well, he's from England, so that was that was cool. And we had that to talk about, which was which was nice. And I had, like, a, a like, nice bit of time with them, actually. They, they weren't that busy. So I even said to them, I was like, hey, I'm from Nottingham. And he's like, hey, what's up, man? I'm from Nottingham. He said he was from, like, Norwich. I think they were from Nottingham. He said he was from Norwich. And, obviously, Penelope's from America. And um, we were just talking and just talking about things in general really just like how's how is it back in england it's like yeah it's fine and they were you know because he'd come from a thing called hope hope wrestling evolution and that was really cool and um he was talking about obviously how um you know he'd come from there and he knew a lot of people that i still talk to and he was just you know he was just really 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 down to earth you know and he lives i think mean, he said he lived in florida now i was like man that's awesome so that was that did that and then um met them they said thanks for coming out and went, went about the day um who else was there and that was that was about it that was literally about it and then i remember just seeing like ravi stevie um 
and everybody, and we were just like, hey, I'm gonna, I wanna wrap up, guys, because it was getting on for about middle of the Sunday afternoon. I was like, you know, I wanna go get some food. I'm hungry. I'm, and they were, they were gonna go and do their thing, and I was like, that's cool, because they were staying at their friend's house. So I was like, yeah, man, no, no worries, you know. And gave, gave Ravi a fist bump, and I, I gave, gave Breach a hug. He was cool. He was like, hey, man, we're, all right, cool. We'll, we'll have a hug, and then we'll hug it out. And then, um, you know, it, it was a, it was a nice. It was a nice day. It was a nice Sunday to wrap up. And, um, yeah, I, I went my way. They went their way. Uh, I got off at the Chicago Bean, had a little look round. Um, then went to get some deep dish Chicago pizza, which was so nice. Like, I absolutely loved it. I mean, it was a good meal. Had this beautiful post-con meal at that. Nice beer. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, just... Thinking about it now takes me back, and that's why I love doing this sort of video, because it just takes me back, you know? Um, and then, yeah, that, that's kind of it. And then I just did a little, like, walk around Chicago, did some, like, went to the Jordan shop, had a look around there, and just, just kept busy for a bit. Then it comes to, like, it was a Sunday night, so things started closing early, and then I just went back to my hotel, just chilled out, had a couple of beers at the bar. Um, I was on my way back. I was going back to England on the Monday night, so... Overall, it was a good trip. Um, I had a lot of fun. I would definitely do AEW again. Um, no questions asked. I would do it again. When that is, I do not know. However, I am optimistic. I was meant to be going to Dallas, Texas in May this year. However, that will not be happening now due to obvious circumstances. However, um, and this goes back to my company, they're going to be like, I'm pretty much going to be credited for everything I've paid now anyway. So all that money that is now just going to be used for another trip down the road. So once life goes back to normal, um, I'll be able to maybe plan something uh, down the road, whether that be doing another AEW trip, which is probably going to be the most highly likely thing because seriously wrestling fans, which I know is a majority of you that tune in and you subscribe and you watch my videos, you need to go to AEW. I would, I'll say that now. I've been a wrestling fan for 20 plus years. And the product that those guys do every single week is the best. They've got such a great roster. The writing's good. The characters are good. I'm intrigued. I'm interested. I want to see what they're doing. And the, the, the product's just getting better and better. I mean, they've just got Brody Lee over there. They've got Lance Archer from New Japan Pro Wrestling. This product is growing. And, um, yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, this has been the AEW Revolution Storytime. My name is Ollie Harper, a.k.a. TNS Attitude. If you want to follow me on Instagram, at TNS Attitude, or my, t or my Twitter, at TNS Attitude, please feel free. Um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff, and I will see you down the road. And while it's quiet now, guys, keep on watching your professional wrestling. I'll see you soon, guys.